So if I had five minutes a week to really figure out what I want to do with um, my site to improve my rankings in Google search or even Bing search, uh, where would I focus my organic SEO activities? Good news is that there are great tools out here that are freely available because you own that particular site. Uh, one being Google Search Console, the other being Ahrefs. Ahrefs can take your Google Search Console data and give you a little bit more additional insight. Uh, this is, again, a free tool. Anybody can use it. I think it's really uh, good for you to routinely check how well you're doing from uh, the respective of your search engine results. I come to this particular property and I wanna say over the next week, two, three, a month, um, how do I actually try to rank better on some of the things that a search engine has said? Yes, I think you have some level of authority. First thing I do is come over here to organic keywords and I see a lot of interesting information. I'm seeing that I have at least for these results, I have for a given keyword, I'm actually seeing a lot of search volume and I also see where I am position wise. All of these results, all of these results happen to be on the first page. So I really wouldn't look at how I can improve that um, that much for these results. Where I would look is if I change my position. And uh, these are the areas where I would kind of look to say, hey, is it something that I can kind of do differently? Because Google has already uh, given me some authority with this keyword. What are some things that I can do to uh, move myself up in the rankings? My I immediately jumps to this one, this keyword, uh, Perler Bead Books. It has a volume of... Uh, 200 um, and my position is really low. I'm like on the ninth page. The other thing that I notice is that it's actually going to my home page. So this screams at me that this is something that I can improve because even if you look at this next one, Melty Bead Instructions, I'm actually going to uh, a particular page uh, and I, you know, happen to um, already have some content that Google has felt that yes, it has some relevance, but it really isn't targeted to melty bead instructions uh, because I'm really talking about how to just melt beads with an iron. It's not really looking at that specific uh, type of beads. Now, if we go here <laughs> and look at Perler Bead Books, I would think that I would want to create an article that has a focus of this keyword. And the reason why is because Google thinks I have some relevance here. <laughs> um, so the first thing I would do is look at my my search engine my search engine results. Oh, I don't know why that popped up, but we'll keep going. Now, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the search engine results page, and these are really um, showing you kind of the first um, page results. And when you look at where I am, I'm way down there, I'm, I'm 91. But a couple things really kind of jump out at me. I think that uh, we have sites with, you know, some, some high authority like uh, Amazon, but this is like a product page. So this is actually a book. Uh, we also have Etsy. Uh, and the thing that I'm trying to look for are kind of these, where these are sites that are ranking pretty high. Uh, but they're not really these high authority sites like an Etsy, like a Pinterest, like an Amazon. They're, they're kind of these middle tier sites or even eBay. Because if you look, when you start looking at the domain rating, Amazon super high, 96. Etsy super high, 94. Uh, even eBay. Yeah, it's the Can uh, Canada version of eBay. It's still high. It's 81. But the thing that really kind of jumps out at me is really kind of these right here. And these are on the first page. And what's happening is I'm seeing that it really isn't that keyword. Because if you remember, we were looking for Perler Beat Books. This here is Design Original Pixel Craft 
with Perla B books. So this one is okay. But this one is ripe for disruption. And this is really 60 plus free Perler B patterns and craft ideas. So it's no mention, and even what it's coming up for, it is no mention of Perler B books. So this is a target of mine. So what I would want to do is create a post that is centered around Perler B books and go after that position because this feels like it's just there because of a lack of content. And I feel that if I write um, a really good piece of content that talks about the intent of what people are looking for when they search for Perler B books, probably a list of books saying pros and cons, uh, what the specialties are, I think you can get on the first page here. Uh, and the reality is that um, uh, this is something you can do over and over again. It's very easy, uh, but that's how I would kind of look at where I can add value to slip into that first page. And yes, it may be a little bit hard to displace the rest of these, but um, I will say that it is possible to get on the first page. And that's what you would want to do, because if you're on the first page, chances are your results are getting seen and people will click. You want to be number one, but if you can't be number one, at least be on the first page. So if I had five minutes, that's what I would do. Got any questions? Uh, let me know. Drop a comment below. Thanks. Bye.